I'm excited guys. Welcome to BBM Pulsers. Many of you would probably recognize this kit, except that it's got a smaller capacitors here. Um, you guys seen it, I used this 150 microfarad capacitors in a previous uh, version, the 2.4 Tesla. This is 1.1 Tesla. Um, the total of this is 120 microfarad all together they're 30 microfarad and they're also 1100 volt so very similar to 2.4 tesla except that this setup has got um, smaller capacitor bank they're lower in the profile so if we look they're only three inches tall this is five inches and this is three inches tall it's made using same board except that these capacitors uh, connections on these capacitors are a little bit short closer together and so i will end up redesigning this board to fit these capacitors but what i got out of this model is pretty nice results i will i'd like to compare this model to the latest sota mp7 model just to you know have a comparison to something and uh, i'll show you the difference in power settings in the speed and all kinds of settings so let's uh, jump into it all right very quick this is a heavy duty aluminum foil there is probably 64 sheets in here with 2.5 millimeter thickness i'd like to show you a bend test using um this uh, kit so here i'm gonna set it on the coil and hold it with um, a hammer so just give me a second to prepare one two three here we go this is a single pulse okay guys so let me show you on the lowest setting. Um, here I have a coil, I'll place it on my hand and I'll turn it on. This is 0.55 Tesla. And let me crank it up to higher power to 1.1 Tesla. This is 1.1 Tesla. That's how much power he outputs. So I wanted to take a quick measurement with the Tesla meter. So let me turn it on. And this is on the lowest. Point five seven Tesla. And as I crank it up. And take a measurements 1.16 Tesla 1.17 Tesla okay guys so let's compare uh, SOTA instruments MP7 I'll refer to it as just MP7 to BBM Pulsar 3B I'll refer to this one as 3B charge time in seconds so MP7 takes about four seconds on the highest and on the lowest takes about one second for 3b on the highest it takes 0.72 seconds and on the lowest takes about 0.2 seconds about five times quicker power adjustment uh, mp7's got two modes low and high and 
3B has got smooth adjustments low to high. Power output. On low, uh, MP7 outputs 2,500 GAS. On high, it outputs 7,000 GAS. 3B outputs on lowest 5,500 GAS, which is twice more. And on high, it outputs almost twice more as well, 11,000 GAS. Use time, session time, uh, 20 minutes, and on uh, 3B it's 15 minutes plus. I actually was able to get 18 minutes. To be safe, I said it's 15 minutes plus. Okay, moving on, pulses per session. MP7 on low will give you 1,400 pulses, and 3B will give you 4,100 pulses. Uh, MP7 on highest output uh, will give you 314 pulses. 3B will give you 1,250 pulses. Moving on to muscle trigger. MP7 will not trigger your muscle. 3B will trigger your muscle on the low and on high settings. Power adapter. MP7 uses 12 volt supplied uh, power adapter, 2 amps, and 3B does not require a power adapter. Power in 110 and 220 volt, yes, for MP7, and it's compatible, 3B is compatible with uh, dual input voltage as well. Uh, you just need to switch a power uh, cord for. European style. Magnetic isolation, yes for both. Capacitor bank, I am not 100% sure but um, MP7's got 605 microfarad capacitor and 3B's got four capacitors each 30 microfarad. Uh, maximum charge voltage, uh, I'm not sure on MP7 it's around 350 volt and on a 3B is 1100 volt. Pedal head diameter 3 inch versus 3.5 inch. Coil made out of um, I am not sure on MP7 I am guessing it's 16 gauge copper wire and on 3B it's made out of 1 millimeter uh, by 15 millimeter wide copper strip. Uh, Built-in coil thermal switch, MP7 does not offer that. And uh, versus 3B, yes, it's got 60 Celsius thermal switch, which which is built in to the coil. End of session sound alarm, most likely no. It just shuts off and 3B does offers uh, sound alarm. End of session visual alarm, no, uh, most likely no for, um, I just couldn't find the information on that for MP7 and yes in uh, 3B. Auto shut off, end of session, yes in both. Peak power draw, around 20 watts uh, for MP7 and 150 watts for 3B. Building cooling fan, uh, no on MP7 and yes in uh, 3B. Silent operation, yes on both. They're both pretty silent in operation. Warranty, uh, SOTA offers two years warranty. And BBM Pulsar for a kit it will be six months and for a complete build it will be three years warranty. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Share, like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.